still didn't write it in. On the 11th. For Chelsea's birthday. I knew I wouldn't, because it wasn't in the diary. What time is it? I know, we're just talking about it. Right, if you move May along and then put June next to it. We're never going to get back to normal. Normal's changed now. We've got different sort of life. And it is what it is. We can't do anything about it. Can you come help me? I am suffering from encephalitis. Uh, the type of encephalitis I have is anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis. Um, the kind of like side effects that I've been left with now is um, like memory loss, uh, confusion, anxiety, um, just total like loss of personality. I'm not as independent as I used to be. So I have to rely on Martin to help me a lot. So he's become pretty much a carer now. You push on because you love her. Like, I couldn't do anything else. I, I couldn't picture myself walking away. So you just, you have to, you've got to deal with it because it's there. There's no, oh, I'll do it tomorrow because the problem's all day, every day. Today I am going back to work <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm not going to the site I usually go to. I'm going to acquire a site that my manager's going to be at. And I'm really looking forward to that and I'm only going to stay for an hour or so today just because I know how tired I get and I'm actually quite tired already, so... I don't really have anything left to do, I don't just my hair. I'm really, really nervous, but I'm really, really excited and I felt like this all week, I felt really, really like sicky feeling in my stomach and then I've like been like oh no like I don't want to go and then I'm like oh I do want to go but today I'm like I want to go I just want to feel normal again Phone up loud. Yeah. <laughs> Cecilia's 
not in yet, so do you want to just wait on the road? Yeah. I think it makes it worse then because I'd like gone in and then I was like, <laughs> where's Cecilia? And they're like, oh, she's not here yet. Oh, there she is. Right, I'm going to go, OK? So I walked in and I asked at reception, because I hadn't been to that setting before, so I asked at reception if my boss was there, and she said no. And I was like, am I even at the right school? And she was like, yeah, they just don't come in until, like, another five, ten minutes' time. So I was like, oh, OK, I'm just going to go wait outside. And she's like, oh, OK, that's fine. With having a brain injury, um, I've noticed myself and I've noticed that people I talk to, you have to, like, things have to go a certain time and they have to go in a certain way. So when, like, that didn't kind of go the right way because I was, like, five minutes early and they were five minutes late, it was like, oh, what's happening? It's all going to go wrong now. So, <laughs> yeah, it just kind of makes you a bit on edge and you start getting very anxious. I am really hopeful for the future and I'm starting to see more positive things now that I'm starting to do more positive stuff. So going to work was a huge step for me and yeah, it's just looking a lot more brighter now.